Hello guys, this is Robocation here. So I'm going to show you how to make a socket programming in Android and the server is a Raspberry Pi which is here right now. So all the program links are linked in the description. So you have to download just and run it. So maybe you have to tweak some things so for running because I have already tweaked uh, some of the programs. So maybe so let's get started. So first of all, I have to open my pi and then go to just my chat client and chat server.py so all the uh, all the files are in the description below so now server is up and running so now we are going to run a uh, chat.client so just go to there python to chat so client now you have to just tweak your IP address of your Raspberry Pi or whatever PC you are using. So uh, you don't require Raspberry Pi right now. I'm just for a uh, training purpose. How to uh, get your IP address from Linux if config. Oops, there is no if config. So now if you can see there is an IP address of my Raspberry Pi. You have to just put there instead of yours instead of mine sorry so now you have to just run that chat client and then I will put my name and as you can see my client is right now connected now we have to just uh, create another program for Android now create a new application name it something like socket programming and then hit next then choose your api next blank empty activity next main activity finish so now our activity is created now go to activity main which is right here So for training purpose, I am just using linear layout. You can use whatever you want. And then go to text and hit the first text. These are going to be a edit text. And then, and then remove this uh, Android text. So first of all, first one is our IP IP address second one is our port and third one is our message now go to main activity and get edit text and first is IP address text underscore IP edit text underscore port edit text underscore message and then edit text goes to find view by rd r dot id IP address then another one is edit text port and find view by rd and dot port then edit text our message then cast everyone then what we have to do is make a button for uh, getting our things ready so just go to widgets and button and make it here now button will be our send button and hit here send then activity now for short term find view and send now this is not an appropriate way but for further tutorial I am going to just 
and if you want to know how to set on click listener or multiple button you can check out my link here now first of all we have to take input of ip address and port from our edit text so for that we have to get first of all our ip address string so which will going to be ip address and another one is ip address uh, integer which going to be our port initialization 0 now get our uh, input from edit text now ip address is going to be edit text dot get text and then our port is edit text dot get text dot to string and here dot to string and then here integer dot value of now for uh, checking purpose if we don't have to in, uh, accidentally input our user any string you have to go to here and our port and then just go to view properties input type and then click here okay uh, there is a only number click here and then go again here now we have already taken our ip address and port number now we have to create our thread now why we require a thread because a long term process can be done on ui because ui will be crashed so thread will be done in background everything so create a new thread now create a new runnable now create our socket so, oops private socket and then client click here client and equals new socket which will be our ip address and then our port and just here and it's saying you have to try and catch so we will done in later now before we have to actually send a message after creating a socket so what we have to do is create a print writer so print writer print writer equals to new print writer and then client dot get oops dot get output stream now print writer dot write what we have to write is this is test message then we have to just print writer dot flush we have to flush everything from the buffer and then print writer has to be closed and client has to be closed now i have to send some tip here tip here so what you have to do is we are firstly creating a socket then we are uh, sending some output and then writing some uh, message to our raspberry pi then flushing our buffer and closing and closing our socket now uh, for whatsapp like service we have to check in loop that input is cam uh, coming or not so this task is done in async uh, async or like th it is a something like a thread but before that i am not going to show you a async task uh, it is a very easy but uh, these tasks are done in async task so this is a little tip if you have to make a chat app just make it try and catch so for easiness for this tutorial i am just going to this is dot print and it's done now here something is required dot start now let's check it out it's running or not 
so now our uh, programming is working now in input the IP address now input 192.168.1.104 port number 9009 and message is hello RPI now send okay something is not working because if we send it has to be shown here okay for me oops we actually forget to add a little permission here so we have to add this permission here just copy and paste it and then run again let's see if it is works or not now input our IP address and this is our port this is our message test message send and as you, as you can see our client is connected and a message is this is the test message and which user is receiving this message is a kishan like it is a raspberry pi so thank you guys for watching and if you want more tutorial on socket programming please let me know in the comment section and see you guys in the next one in next tutorial we will see how to how we can identify our usb in linux so if we have a tool usb of 16 gb how we can identify which one is uh, for my use so thank you guys for watching and talk to you in the next one